got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anymore. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I, I'll be, able to, I'll be able to find the sink. <laughs> Legally, I can only say my name once. Yeah, <laughs> you can't say it more than Perfect. three times. I have a gypsy curse. That's <laughs> well, who shows up? Who shows up? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not allowed to you, you, say. You never tried it? Yeah. Mm. Legally, I have a weird thing allowed. about saying, saying things three times. Like, when I used to go to school... And went to football games. Our fight song, they would repeat it three times. And I would never do it the third time. Because it's like, that's that's one time too many. Come on, guys. <laughs> Perfect. Punch is a witch. Uh, yeah, yeah. He has- <laughs> and welcome to Heat Wave. It's the 21st episode. We're now legally able to drink. Oh, well, in that case. Uh, bottom up. century Listen, episode. You can't. Let a twenty-one week old baby drink. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, have you have you seen a teething baby have a little bit of whiskey? No. Yeah. Yeah, you can, That's uh, how you help yeah, the teething baby. But I right. also little... didn't grow up in Mayberry. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Or Florida. <laughs> Flor- uh, yeah, Florida's well, worse I grew than up Mayberry. In... It really is. I grew up in Sparta, yeah. and we definitely gave teeth and babies alcohol so that they would go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> That's how you get babies to fight. Yeah. Oh, yep. God. Baby fight. <laughs> baby fight <laughs> dot <excited>. business. <laughs> so how's everyone's week been? How is everybody doing? At the hip. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. It's the Hutch Hutcherson. Thank you for joining us on the podcast. I'm also with Brittany Saturn, and there's someone else on the internet. Weird intro that we're doing. I don't know. (laughs) I forgot about names. She tried to pop the hutch, but it didn't work. uh, Yeah. (laughs) This is not how you Tokyo drift into a podcast. (laughs) You gotta engage, engage the the clutch before you engage the hutch. Mm. The ult and the ultimate DK, Jairus Mitchell. It stands for Donkey Kong. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Jairus Mitchell's here And he's here to say Did he uh, Hey are, Do you want to talk about <laughs> Buying what a house What was that <laughs> That was me That, that, was, was, that was me Hitting uh, the that e break was Into a wall 21 weeks worth of practice Of segues <laughs> That's what that was <laughs> That's That's how you know Practice makes perfect You guys Follow your dreams Keep going <laughs> Yeah. One day you two life. will be as professional as us. Yeah, sorry, I hit the e break into a wall on that one. Yeah. Um, you just yeah, at least you tried to stop. If in Mario Kart, if you drift too much and then change directions, you run the risk mm-hmm. of like spinning out, and that's exactly what mm-hmm. you just did. Yeah, no, the, and I'm pretty sure that the Lakito La- brother didn't even pick me up. He just left me in the ditch. The Lakitus brothers from Star La- Wars. Kudos. Yes, <laughs> where it's didn't you know about the cross cross uh, branding Mario Kart and Star Wars? <laughs> I thought they just worked with Mercedes. Oh, God, yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> I hate all of this. <laughs> so yeah, what's what have you guys been up to this week? Love? Just doing Working. the business. My Work. job. <laughs> my job. <laughs> I had to do my job as well. I know it's so hard, isn't it? I actually had to go to work this week. It was weird. <laughs> Pretty weird. My video game is getting to me. Oh, uh, what did you order? What didn't I order? Well, soon. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> They're on A-plus their way customer right customer now. Customer service. That's but- great. I didn't even need Michelle. <laughs> we have a bunch of it's, it's, we have a bunch of orders that are sitting in our warehouse because the mail doesn't run on Monday, but <clears> we're going in tomorrow anyway to mail stuff out. <laughs> Yeah, so, that seems you like an oversight. The front door of the post office. What? I'm sorry, you both were talking at the same time. Yeah. Hutch said something about front doors. I'm saying just just leave uh leave all the packages at the front door of the post office. Oh, we kind of did that on Friday. 
we were like, we have to get all of these particular packages out as many as we can before 5 p.m. And they're, they were vinyls, so they go through media mail, which means we have to give them to the post office versus <clears throat> our shipping company. So we loaded all of the packages up on pallets, and we drove our big box truck over to the post office and then unloaded them in the parking lot. <laughs> Weird. We were like, please take these. Also, it was 4.50 p.m. <laughs> when we did this. <laughs> <laughs> So those wow. poster workers were really excited. <laughs> so good. That's the equivalent of going into a restaurant like 10 minutes to close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you should have just well, tied that mail to a brick and thrown it through the window. <laughs> yeah, let's t- tie that pallet full of vinyls to a brick. It was like a weird deadline where like we had to get as many out as possible on that day, but we didn't get them until like 3 p.m. So, Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was there, but so I wasn't like doing send, any of that work. Send six hundred orders out, but in two hours, <clears throat> everyone hike okay. up your jorts. We've got work to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, another Memorial Day in the trenches. Yep. Yeah. And what's even worse is like we always work Memorial Day weekend, but this year because of the COVID, we can't bring in food and share it, so we can't even have a barbecue like we did last year. <laughs> that was fun. That's a fucking yeah. crime. Yeah, it's pretty much crime city. So crime city. Speaking of speaking of crimes, Jaris, what are we talking about this week? What are these segues? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So it could be a crime. Maybe he's talking about crimes. She's just putting her foot down and saying that we need to start the segment. I guess. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were like we were just talking, but Michelle's out here just trying to do business. <laughs> I'm business lady. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, for my topic, I just want to chat. Ooh. That's a bullshit. <laughs> Barkley, that's, tell that, us about the barbecue is... last year, because I'm curious no, about no, what, we're a, gonna, we're gonna what a company bullshit... barbecue looks like. <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna to talk okay, about how stop. bullshit it is. Basically, that you don't have the speaking stick, Michelle. <laughs> You have you don't have, have the speaking topic stick. forever. <laughs> Everyone shun we her. We all have the goddamn speaking <laughs> stick. All right. So first of all, if you order a bunch of supplies from our supply <clears throat> company, they give you free gifts, and we got a grill last year. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. And so what we are had we a talking? Is it like lot. a green egg, or is it just like? One of the shitty it's ones. A little camping cap. It was like camping no, it's a little no, hibachi thing. No, 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 oh, I'm no, still shunning was, Michelle. Never mind. No, 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 Shut no. Up. It was big. It was it was a pretty big grill. I don't know. It was just like this long oval looking motherfucker. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We about had a grill at work. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Thank and you for propane. sending mail. Here's a grill. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and we, we just had this grill and we were like, well, we should fucking use it then. And so we brought in a bunch of meats and everybody brought in like a prepared dish and we sat in the shipping room and watched vines on the TV. That was pretty That fun. sounds and like an amazing team building activity. Yeah, it, it was, was a lot of fun. But this year we can't do that because we're not allowed to have, we're not allowed to be near each other. <laughs> so it was pretty great because me and Josiah <clears throat> ended up making pork chops. Um, we ended up making burgers. We made hot dogs and we made uh, barbecue ribs. Mm. Yep. That and um, I actually stank. cut up the pork chops and made a uh, little like, I got those like Hawaiian rolls and made little, mm-hmm. little pork chop sandwiches. And I made, mm. um, I brought in potato salad and then I made, um, I do pudding. like your that potato salad and your banana pudding. So, so I, I that in. approve of both of those. What was the shittiest thing that someone brought in? Um, I honestly don't remember. Um, someone probably some stupid vegetable. <laughs> no, no. Someone <laughs> said that they were going to bring all the plates from forks and whatnot, and they didn't. That was the worst thing someone brought. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that oh, was gosh. one of the shipping boys. Who no, said no, they no. Were bring it was it. A, it was a marketing person. That, oh, okay. Never that's mind. That's <laughs> pretty typical though of any like cookout experience. It's like I'll bring the ice or whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Beans. Oh my god. Beans is trying to climb up my leg and she's super you chunky. And no, she's climbing my leg because she's falling off. <laughs> beans. How often do you call beans a chungus? Well, definitely today because she ran across the <clears throat> shelving we have around the office and the shelf fell off the wall. <laughs> yeah. It just I I'll, I'll put pictures up now because they're pretty funny. <laughs> But like I'm, it was the one shelf that I didn't have up with like dry raw clamps. Okay, she's so just gonna sit on the table, I guess. And 
Amazing. So, so Vince, didn't, right Vince us. didn't get hurt because I had a pack of fifty bubble mellers sitting on a, on top of the table, and she fell on the bubble mellers. So <laughs> oh, wow. It was a soft landing for her. <laughs> yeah, I just got to put that back up later on today. But yeah, she's a huge chungus. <laughs> I tell her all the time. <laughs> I so our chunky kitty was sitting on the couch earlier. And she was sitting in that way where she's got like her legs splayed out. Uh, yeah. She, like oh, she yeah. looks like a chunky old man. And okay. she's got like one paw back and she's leaning forward to lick her crotch. <clears throat> and then she looked up at us in this like wheezy kind of I am exhausted <laughs> from li- licking my own crotch. <laughs> and I made eye contact with our sweet kitty and I called her a chungus and she went like meh. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that term before. I don't like it. You don't like Chungus? He's talking about from the perspective of oh, the cat. Oh, from the cat. Okay. Sorry. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not even high. Are you drunk today? God, I wish. No, so here's something that you I've drunk been experiencing. box wine. So I've been experiencing this. So I've been getting high almost every night of the week for a while. <laughs> this is a and fucking then- podcast. <laughs> and then the last Hello, three police. nights. <laughs> Which I said crimes. Um, and you put that true. on us. That was I the didn't first thing that steer we did. towards this. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have the talking stick. Shut up. No, you don't. <laughs> I didn't hand it to you. I don't give a fuck. It's my podcast. Wow, this is quality. Oh, 21 weeks in. Let's just... It's her podcast. <laughs> let's just... Yep. Let's just back away slowly, everyone. All right. We'll just fight for this entire episode. <laughs> 21 weeks we've been drinking, now ready to fight. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is is that I've had like a whole week where I wasn't uh, getting high. And every night I have felt high at those times anyways. And I'm wondering, am I crazy? Yes. Okay. Yes. You've got the jazz poison. I got the jazz poison. It's incurable. It will never leave your blood. <laughs> uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty you have to get a blood transfusion to make it go away. Cool. Now, now you're going to play Dungeons and Dragons and then jump off a roof. <laughs> I've done both of those things. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell us about your failed pro res- amateur wrestling career. Oh, Hutch, it was your it was your roof. When did you jump off his roof? I ju- what? I, ju- I followed this guy onto his roof, and then I jumped off the roof into the pool. You can't jump off the roof into the pool. Well, me and another man did it. That man's <laughs> name is Josh you, Kinlaw, you know and he's a national I, treasure. I, and we've been well, here's, we've here, been here's going to Fourth part. of Julys with him for like a decade, but you can't. <laughs> Be bothered to recommend rec- blah, blah, remember his name. You don't remember, remember the name was. of like <laughs> three fourths of the people that were at that fucking barbecue, Jarris. Jarris, you you know who it is. Oh, it's that guy. S- starts with a J. I just loudly said it. It was Jarris. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have never actually jumped. Well, I jumped off a roof onto a trampoline when I was a child, mm-hmm. but I've. Mm-hmm. avoided jumping off roofs because as a tallman uh, mm-hmm. knees are my weak spot like if this were mm-hmm. a Star Fox mission uh, mm-hmm. my the, the point that is glowing that you need to shoot is my kneecaps got it right on yeah if you fall off a roof and you break at the knees and you become two different pieces we, will there be two Jairus's or <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Just like two miniature Jairuses running around at that point. You're like an amiibo. See, I was well, amiibo. I think I was it would amiibo. be three. So, okay. Uh, One for each leg. That every part like that I just replicate uh, and regenerate. Mm. So if you cut me in half, there would be two. But you've created three independent segments of Jairus. That will all mm. regrow a full Jairus. Um, each leg will be a nightmare for a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> like as it as it grows to full size, whereas like the the primary part of me 
the torso um, would just have baby legs for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the Deadpool aspect look. The what? The Deadpool look where he's got little baby. I don't kid have legs. a mask on in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the fuck I'm referring to. No, no, I don't. Um, which comic was that from? It's the movie. You've seen the There's movie. There's a movie? I, I think you're talking about Spider-Man. Yeah. Sometimes I fucking hate Jairus. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Let's, I want to talk about how much of a pain in the ass Jairus is. Oh! <laughs> my original topic. Great. <laughs> Great. We have six minutes. Brittany, did you confirm that Michelle has been stabbed? Um, <laughs> God. And no, I forgot to message your mom. Ah, shit. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we're but done. Sh- Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>